In 2012, the founder of this program, 100 Huntley Street, David Maines, was diagnosed with cancer. And at that time, David made a commitment to the 100 Words blog. Now, each morning, David would get up real early and ask God for inspiration for his post, never missing a day. Well, in honor of David, the Word Guild, which consists of 325 Canadian Christian writers, editors, speakers, librarians, and booksellers, added a new category this year for the Word Awards the David Maines Best Blog of the Year Award. Well, in June, Sarah Ball was named the winner, and Sarah joins me from Cochrane, Alberta. Hi, Sarah, good to see you. Congratulations. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you. So what did it mean to much. win the very first ever David Maines Award? Uh, oh, you know what? When I entered into that award, I said, God, I really, really want to win this award. Because for me, it just meant a lot of things. Number one, I think it meant that my work matters. And it's making a difference. So it was just confirmation for me. And just to be uh, recognized, um, especially under David Maine's name, was just such an honor to be able to walk in his footsteps in that way. And I think um, overall, it really sort of tied up this full circle journey that I've been on with vlogging. So well, we appreciate I was really, really excited. Well, we're excited for you. You know what appreciated about David? He was always moving with the times. And so he got into blogging. And of course, we know that he's had some great blogs over that time. And, and we still see them on our website, 100huntley.com. So one of the things, I guess, for you, Sarah, in terms of starting out as a blogger, was you wanted to bring the hope of Jesus because of some of the struggles that you have had and have overcome. Hmm. Well, I mean, originally I just started off as a mummy blog because I was bored and I had my fifth kid and wanted something to do. But God used it and eventually it began to channel into this blog about mental illness because I was slowly beginning to share my own experiences and the reaction that I was getting from people, because it was really difficult to write about in the beginning, but people's responses to me and the emails I was receiving saying, wow, this is me too. Thank you for sharing so openly about your experience. It's just as if you're, you know, reading my mail kind of thing. And that just really spurred me on to keep going. So I've been blogging for about eight years now. Well, and again, you're doing a wonderful job. Now, you were on the program last year uh, talking with our Cheryl Weber. By the way, that interview can also be seen at 100huntley.com. So you went from being a very capable mother of five to facing depression, anxiety, OCD, even suicidal thoughts. Um, how did you find healing? And in, in the midst of that, you wanted to write about it. Well, I mean, I always um, say it's a journey. The healing doesn't happen overnight. Um, while I was in the midst of it, I wanted instant healing, absolutely. But I believe that Jesus wanted me to walk it out with him day by day by day, uh, learning what would strengthen me, uh, learning how to guard my thoughts, learning how to take my thoughts captive, and of course, learning how to really rely on Jesus, even for my mental health. And so blogging about it was really, really hard in the beginning, because it was really scary for me to share with the world who will usually look at you from an outside perspective and let them know what was going on in my brain. And so that was very vulnerable for me in the beginning. Um, so I kind of spoke in code when I first started blogging, like kind of struggling right now or whatever. But then all of a sudden, um, I just really felt God tell me that my story was not mine to keep, that this was his story and I needed to be open and vulnerable with my journey. And so um, what's become of that has been amazing. And Sarah, what would you say to aspiring bloggers? Oh, I think you really need to know who you're writing for. I think sometimes we just want to write for everybody. And I think, second of all, that it's not about us. <laughs> and so in the big, a lot of bloggers in the beginning, they, want, they feel like people want to know everything about them, but they don't. People want to know what your journey is so that it can relate to them and their journey. So that's definitely my two pieces of advice. It's not about you <laughs> and really know who you're writing for. Well, you're writing to many people, and I know part of the, even here at 100 Huntley Street, is talking about mental illness, breaking down that stigma, and I know that you're doing that with your blogs today. You're married, wonderful husband, five kids, and again, keep pumping out those blogs, Sarah, appreciate it. And if you'd like to learn more about Sarah, her blogs, you can go to her website at sarahebal.com, and also you can order a copy of that great book that we talked about here on 100 Huntley Street last year, Fearless in 21 Days. Again, congratulations, Sarah. Thank you, appreciate it. And we'll have more of 100 Huntley Street right after this.